Hi guys and welcome back in the channel in my Sims 4 Realistic World series. If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure to hit the subscribe button because I have some very interesting stuff coming up for you guys. So from the intro, I believe you got a pretty good idea of what I am about to create today. Um, I tried to create a realistic New York townhouse block and instead of creating a bunch of townhouses, I wanted to spice things up and I built actually six different buildings, four residential and two commercial. I will create a Starbucks cafe and we will also um, decorate it in this episode and in the next part I will add a barber shop and above it on the next level I will also create a dance studio, that's the idea at least. Um, I will be creating a huge dance industrial room with mirrors and big windows and everything that says <laughs> 10 studio. And of course, as I showed you in the intro previously, we have a subway station with two actual connecting lines. Yeah, unfortunately though, it's not working in the gameplay. I hope Electronic Arts will add this option for us in the near future to actually have a real subway station but I couldn't resist actually trying to put that underground station inside this New York block. Of course this is going to be the biggest project that I have created so far in this channel but I am excited and um, I am anticipating to see uh, the involvement. Of course I will decorate each one of these rooms and each one of these buildings and houses. Um, you will see we will have three different townhouses. So the concept for these are um, obvious. Each house is for a family and uh, not just like a separate apartments, but also um, I have a taller building, it's um, the townhouses are three floor buildings and I created a four floor building and this taller building will be an apartment building so um, either I will create um, one apartment for each floor or two apartments for each floor. I know it's a huge uh, project but um, I really want to try, yeah, and we will see how it works. Of course also I will give you a download link, the previous download link for uh, the London townhouses. It was a bit, uh, it was quite big, uh, it was one gigabyte to download, so I guess this one is going to be even bigger. But if you really want to have this on your game, I guess it's worth the wait of downloading it. Also, if you place this on your game and uh, you want to move a household in it, you can't do that without the mother load code because it's, it's already expensive even without me having it completed. Um, I placed a household and all and all these scenes you saw in the intro to make the cinematics and uh, a notification came for the bills and the bills was 8,000 simoleons for this block and it's not even fully decorated so it's gonna be extremely expensive but um, also it's kind of sad to have all that um, in one block and not be able to have them uh, working as they should be. By that I mean um, you don't, you can't make separately the cafe, a community lot, or the barber shop, or um, have this little square thing where the subway stations are. Uh, have a lot of people and um, you know give life to the city. That's the sad thing of this creation. We have all that and you can't fully uh, enjoy them as you should have. But that's the way Sims 4 it is right now. So we can't do uh, anything more about it. So you can at least have 8 Sims uh, living there and make the place more um, 
enjoyable. Um, unfortunately, during the subway uh, creation, uh, I realized that my screen recorder once again had some issues and uh, we've lost uh, some of these uh, footage in the, in the beginning of the creation. Yeah, as you see here, I have already created the first floor of the station with uh, one entrance and one exit. That's why we have um, one on the right and one on the left facing each other because we want uh, to have to separate uh, connections with the ground and uh, inside we also have two desks for uh, the people to buy tickets from and I will continue creating uh, the other uh, two floors in the bottom. Uh, thankfully, I realized it uh, sooner than uh, in the previous episode and I actually uh, installed a different recorder because um, I didn't want to risk having uh, more crashes in the future. So <laughs> that's it. At least it's the last crash you are about to see. And that's it for now. I don't have to uh, share any more info at the moment for that building. Enjoy the rest of the video and uh, the creation process and we will talk again on tour. Don't you know I walk through fire with
much, now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool, why are you breaking rules? Dangerous path that I follow you do and it hurts as I bleed for you cry for you oh, oh. let me bleed as I bleed for you cry for you
decorations um, I don't know how many parts this project will be but I guess they're going to be more than our uh, London townhouses 
so make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified and see the process of that creation. Leave me in the comments down below all your thoughts about this creation or uh, what would you like to see in a New York townhouse block like this one I am creating here. Take care, stay safe and we will talk again on the next episode. You're